Hello everyone, welcome back to Fanblade. Uh, the bodies for the guitars have been sent off to my work and they have been sprayed. Um, two of them, uh, as they hang in the spray booth, uh, two of them, due to a moment's inattention by me, hit together and hung there for a couple of seconds while I said some things that I can't repeat and then they fell apart. So uh, they need to be sanded off and re-sprayed. However, this one escaped and ain't she pretty? Normally the next step now is to wet sand and polish. Now, I'm not 100% sure that I can actually polish this out to a gloss that's better than what I'm seeing here. The couple of tiny little bits. I think there's a bit of hair landed in it there. Uh, but apart from that, this is as good a finish as I could ever get by uh, polishing and buffing so I'm just I'm not going to waste the time doing it I'm going to put it together and play it for the pickups what I need to do the screws that actually come with the pickups here are these horrible tiny thin just rubbish they're absolute don't waste your time uh, I'm going to use these ones here which are a bit more robust they're a bit thicker they're a bit uh, wider in diameter uh, which means I actually need to drill out the plate I've just remembered something, and I'm really glad that I did, uh, because what I've done in the past is install the pickups, and then flip the thing over, and then remember that I have to put uh, foil lining in there, because there is no fun to be had trying to line a cavity with foil when you've already got wires coming through it. Um, I'm using aluminium tape, because that's what I have. Copper's probably better. Yeah, what are you going to do? I'm going to do this. Conventional wisdom would say that you should probably fold over one of the edges of the tape so that you're, so that each individual piece is actually making a proper electrical contact with the other one. I have tested it. The adhesive is conductive enough that that's now a fully sealed thing. There's no need to fold it over. Um, your tape may differ. Um, I've also folded this edge up here so that when I put the cover on, uh, We'll line the underside of that. After I do something artistic with it, because it's a clear cover and you just have to do something artistic with a clear case, because that kind of looked pretty ugly. Um, and the tape under there, yes, is pretty... I'll do something interesting. Um, what I actually need to do now, before I install the pickups even, is drill some holes for the pots. Now, I've kind of been um, uh, undecided as to what I want to do here. I've got uh, two of those and three of these. Uh, and a couple of switches to go in here. Let's unravel this and see what we think. Yeah, okay, it's looking like by the time I get the preamp and a battery in there, there's not going to be a heck of a lot of room for a couple of big chunky switches taking up space in the middle. So we'll forget those. That saves a lot of complicated wiring. Uh, and uh, just drill five, six holes, yes. Handy little hint, wait until I've drilled these holes before I'll put the foil in.
it's pretty much together. I've plugged a battery into it and it all works, does what it should do. But I think by the time we get some strings on it, it should be sounding pretty flash. Um, I tried some different combinations of knobs and just came to the conclusion that I hated having different ones and I just wanted them all to look exactly like that. So I stole the knobs I like off another base. We need to get a nut made. Now this is a bone nut blank. Um, normally when I buy them they are twice that length and I get two bases out of one of them. Unfortunately I can't use it for this base because the fingerboard's too thick. Uh, which is partially by design and partially by accident and partially by the fact that I don't have a drum sander to thickness fingerboards accurately. Watch out for my drum sanding build coming soon. Um, so I can't use this nut blank, it's just like the, the nut is exactly the same height as the first fret. Uh, you can't really deal with that, so I have to find something that I can make a nut out of, and I've found a giant chunk of acrylic. Uh, so I'll be carving a nut out of that. Alright, it's pretty much there. I'm itching to play it, but before I can, I just need to, little cosmetic details, polish the nut because it looks a little bit rough, and also uh, do something with the control plate. I need a little bit of cable management, because that's a bit of a rat's nest of wires. Uh, so yes, a uh, couple of little details and then it's ready to go. That's pretty much ready to go on. The only question is, what am I going to stick uh, underneath it? Because that's a particularly ugly thing to have. Um, I thought about some photos, I thought about maybe doing an engraving on the underside and then colouring it in with something. But then it occurred to me that what I did a couple of days ago was experiment with some stop motion animation. And that's left me with this ridiculous little drawing. Um, it took me two and a half hours to make that three second clip. 
stop motion animation is not really my thing, I've decided. However, it has left me with a, a reasonable sort of a piece of art that I can stick uh, under there. It sort of fits quite nicely and gives me room to, I don't know, write something in there. Sign it and date it and dedicate it to the essential workers, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, so uh, we'll uh, cover the back of this with foil, cut it out to shape and then just slap it on. I keep on getting ready to declare the thing finished. There's two more things. Strap locks and the truss rod cover. Uh, here are the truss rod covers I made last week. I've uh, sanded them back and given them a load of uh, load of glue to finish. That's sort of fine. There's four of them there. If I was uh, doing this again, and I will be soon, but what I'll do differently is instead of having four of them orientated that way, uh, I will orientate them this way to go with the grain because we've got a serious splitting hazard if I try and bring this down to a fine point, uh, then uh, this wood up here is going to be extremely weak to try and put a hole through. So uh, I just have to play it safe, but uh, I think we'll get away with it and it's my base anyway, so yeah, it will be what it will be. Now, the problem of neck balance uh, on an instrument like this is always sort of plagued the SG style of instruments. They've always been neck heavy, there's never been one without neck dive. Um, I solved the problem uh, one way, which was to actually make a, uh, a plate with a metal spike up there so the strap was hanging on about here. I don't want to do that to the, this because it's ugly. Um, what I really need to do is just find out how it balances. Uh, and if I was going to put a strap lock there, is the neck going to be heavy? No, it's not. Okay. I think I'll just pop one in the back of the neck heel and one at the end. Yeah. And it's done. It's ready. To the studio.
and there it is. In all its glory, a fully completed, fully finished instrument ready for the hard yards in the world of rock and roll. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm amazed at how well it came out. I'm amazed at how well it sounds. It's the Being a short scale with regular gauge strings on it, uh, you can get those bends going. Really quite, uh, really quite gnarly. Very cool. Uh, I'm impressed with the preamp. I think it sounds great. I'm impressed with these pickups. I think they sound excellent. At one point, I was going to swap these out for some chrome ones, but I like that exactly the way it is. I'm never touching this thing with a screwdriver again. Uh, and yeah, cool. One down. There's two more to go. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get to them next week, but I'm going to do my very, very best. If not, then I'll have something else for you, because there's plenty going on here, as you can probably tell. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. By the way, we've hit 600 subscribers. So, yay for us. <laughs> thank you very, very much. Um, uh, let's keep it going. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.